Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back. I know that it was the beginning of the week this time around, so I hope that so far this week you've been able to do something great, be something great, create something great, uh, and hopefully this message will give you that little push that you need to go into the rest of the week and continue to do great things. Uh, This week, uh, obviously, like I said, it's a different day than we're used to. I want to call today, I guess I can call this Wednesdays, words of wisdom. Something simple to remember, but something to encourage each and every one of us to get through not only this hump day, get over this hump, and get through the rest of the week. So, I'm going to talk today about growth. Growth and the act of growing up, the act of getting better, the act of um Improving the act of changing and uh, maturing over time, uh, you know, is something that is very challenging, very difficult for a lot of us to deal with, simply because we don't know what we're going to look at, look like on the other side of that growth. A lot of us know, we have an idea of what we want that growth to look like. We have an idea of what we want it to be, uh, but it's not always guaranteed. We're not guaranteed anything. In this life other than you will grow, you'll grow old, uh, and hopefully you'll grow successfully and grow happily. Uh, I love verses in the Bible that talk about growth. Uh, One of my favorite is when I was a child, I thought, and I did as a child. But when I grew older, I put away childish things. That's something that I feel like a lot of us struggle with. Um... You know, when, as a child, we were innocent. As a child, we were naive. And there were a lot of things that you were innocent to and naive to as a child that now as an adult, we know are right. We know we shouldn't do. We know we shouldn't want places that we used to go, people that, you know, and we used to interact with. You, you realize that it's not good for you anymore. Um... You know, and there were certain things that we all had as a child or that we all did. We all leaned on, probably even as a crutch as a child, uh, that you no longer have as an adult. Obviously, if you're still a child, be a child. Um, You know, don't long to grow older faster. You know, enjoy your childhood, enjoy your youth, enjoy that innocence and being naive. But once you get older... There are certain things that you have to put away and cast aside. There are certain things that you have to get rid of. There are certain things that you have to literally grow out of. Um, And sometimes those things will be relationships. Uh, There are a lot of people who, you know, you start out your life's journey with that aren't going to be there when this, you know, life really gets kicking and when you really get... Uh, to the place of maturity and growth and uh, whether that's spiritual, emotional, even physical. Uh, A lot of the people who are there in the beginning of the ride aren't going to be there at the end. Uh, We make the mistake a lot of times of putting lifetime expectations on people who have uh, only seasonal intentions for us. Uh, We expect people to be there and stick around for the rest of our lives when they're only suited to be around us for two, three years, if that long. They're only suited to be with us for a certain time in a certain season, sometimes even to teach us a lesson in that season. But we make the mistake of holding on to people that we're supposed to outgrow. We're making the mistake of holding on to situations, relationships, Now we're supposed to outgrow things that are stunting our growth, keeping us from reaching, you know, a certain point in our lives that we're supposed to be at. Uh, I've come to realize I, you know, I find solace in the fact that there is a place for me in the future that is ordained for a version of myself that I have not yet met. And the only way I'll miss that is if I remain this person that hasn't grown 
isn't on that level spiritually, isn't on that level mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever that is. And I don't want to miss out on that. I don't want to miss out on who I'm supposed to be, being stuck on who I think I am. I don't want to miss out on who I should develop into. I don't want to miss out on who I should be, holding on to who I used to be or letting people hold on to who I used to be. So for the rest of this week, and I want you guys really to tackle growing in certain areas in your life. Uh, you know what it is that you need to grow in and grow on. You know what it is that you need to improve, you know, what areas there are and, and just tackle that, you know, just focus on growing, you know, for the rest of this week, for the rest of this month, for the rest of this year, just focus on growing into the person that your future is waiting on you to become uh, because there's something bright waiting on you in the future that you could miss out on. If you decide to remain the person that you are today, or if you decide to hang on to the person that you used to be five, ten years ago. Like I said, if you're a child, then still remain a child, but still show some growth. But if you're 20, 25, 30, and you're still doing the same things that you did at 15, it's about time to grow up. It's about time to grow away from certain things. It's about time to grow into the person that you're supposed to be. Your future depends on it. And I don't want you to miss out on that. And so if you approve this message, if you like this message, if you think you know somebody that needs to hear this themselves, don't forget to like and subscribe. Come back next week. Let's do this again next Wednesday. Maybe.